Well, welcome back. I know I said no more voiceovers, but you know what happened? My last video got way too long, and I had to cut it into two. So here the we go. Floor really does seem to the help rescue. the white paint leveling out, leveling itself out. So that's kind of nice. Like the other one, I can see it from where I'm sitting, and it's it's evening out quite nicely. So one of the things that I ran into with the glue in the paint. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm coming down with something. Some kind of a cold or something. And probably shouldn't be talking as much as I am, but you know how it is. When you like to talk, you like to talk. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ah, I'm making a red spot. Alrighty. Oh, I've got some cells developing in that other one, too. I'll take you and we'll have another look at it again. I don't know how long we've been filming now. Oh, five minutes. That's just on this one, right? I know that's on part of the last one. I don't know how long the other videos were. But let's get going again. of plastic these are just actually these are plastic bags from my veggies at the grocery store I don't yet have replaceable or reusable plastic bags for my veggies but I do have reusable bags for everything else oh, look at that okay so again I'm just going to lightly pat 
I've got some air bubbles here. I want to get rid of them, but I don't want to squish my paint together. It's going to squoosh together enough when I lift up the plastic. It will all squoosh together and make some really cool patterns. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave it to sit for a minute or two, see if any more bubbles develop, and if I need to pat anything else down, and I'll be back. We've sat for a few minutes. I've patted out any air bubbles that popped up. Of course, they keep popping up, right? I think, oh, I might have enough to do one or maybe even two more tonight, and then I'm going to have to mix some white paint up because I don't have any, and I'm, I have to let it sit. I know the last time I mixed it up and tried using it the same day, I just had bubbles, 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 and I could not get rid of them. Anyway, here we go again. I'm going to grab and pull up on the corners. Oh my gosh, I'm already excited. <laughs> I'm going to pull up on this corner and this corner and gather it, gather it, gather it, and... Hmm... Well, I'm not as thrilled with this one. Let's see what we can do. I seem to have lost my cloth. Oh, that package is almost empty. I've had these Kirkland wipes, and they're just dry as heck, right? I've had them forever. They're dry as heck. You certainly can't take them anywhere and use them, but they're great for this. So I'm, <laughs> I don't like to throw anything away, and I've just been keeping these things. So, good to find a use for them. Let's go ahead and pop some bubbles. Oh, uh, well, we are seeing some really pretty cells show up here. I think I just need to stretch it a little bit. Hmm? Oh, come on. A little bit this way. It's funny how my center always moves kind of off center, right? Oh, that is turning out pretty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe not quite enough yellow in the center. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe it is. It sure is pretty. I need to get something on these edges, though. I might have to come in just with my white. Get it up off the ground, I guess. I certainly don't want to leave them the way they are. The edges, the sides I can paint, but... It's the edges on the top that I'm concerned about, right? Like where I'm seeing this red showing through from before. I don't want that. And here too. That was from my last awful attempt with these. <laughs> ah, it was so funny. My goodness. <laughs> It is certainly a learning experience, and like I said, I would love to hear your adventures in this at the same time, because it is a lot of fun, but it's also a bit of a challenge, because you're never quite sure, well for me anyway, I guess if you're a painter, and you have experience with paint and colors and you know, I have experience with colors, and I know what colors go good together, but I'm used to them in a graphic design sense, right? I'm not used to them 
merging and blending and flowing together and 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 one color becoming another color mixing with a color and becoming a completely other color you know that i don't have any experience with so in that way this is all new to me anyway that's looking pretty nice i think i'll bring you i'll bring this up for a better look cool right oopsie <laughs> it's okay I have another one of those <clears throat> all right so I have two more boards <clears throat> excuse me that I'm going to cover with some white and then I will come back and um, I think I have to mix up some more red and I think that's it maybe some red and some lavender and then I will Come back and we'll paint a couple more. I have coated it again with my white and here we go. Let's go for this third. I think it's called a dip a dip technique. Dip dip tech. I'm not sure if that's the if that's the same thing as this, but I think that's what it is. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to grab the corners again and gather them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and this one too. And I have to remember to not get super impatient here because you guys know how I do that, right? Oh, all my yellow is gone. Oh man, maybe if I torch it, some will come out. Let's pop the bubbles. Oh, yep, there's some popping out. Good, yay, and then we'll stretch it a little bit. Yeah, I'm loving the cells from that teal. We'll have to see with these guys because they actually seem to have more of the silicone than the other ones that I did that had silicone in them. Uh, at least I'm getting more of a reaction anyway. 
So we're just going to stretch it just a little bit. I moved the camera so I can't actually see what you're seeing right now. So I hope that I'm in shot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> seeing a couple of bubbles there too. Back to the center. And I want to come down this way just a touch. Oh, come on. I want the green to move too. If you're running into that problem is my center wants to move, but I want this here to move. <laughs> and it is not moving. Let's go back to the center again. I don't know, it's still pretty cool. Oh, and did you notice I haven't even pulled out my bendy straw? That must mean I'm happy, right? <laughs> no bendy straw means Lori is a happy girl. Well, what do you think? That one's got a little bit more white on it than everything else does. I maybe didn't do quite enough of the green, and I still want this to move down, so I'm going to do it very slowly and hope that I don't bore you all to tears. But I really want some of that pink color to come down here. I don't want to ruin the other side though. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back the other way now. Ah, there we go. There we go. Slow down, Lori. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so this is now my second favorite technique. I must say. That is quite delightful. What do you think? Let me know. Leave a comment. I totally forgot to put yellow in the middle. <laughs> oh no. Well, we'll see what happens, right? Here we go. We're going to pull our corners up. 
And, oh, I see a spot there where there's an air bubble. Sorry. That won't do, though. I don't know how I missed that. That was a big one. All right, let's try it again. Okay, up at the corners. Up at these corners. Take it slowly. And pull. Oh, I missed the yellow. I'm going to just drop a dab in there. Right in the center. And then I'm going to... Oh, what am I going to do? I think I'll just touch it with my finger. Ah, I wiped it all out again. Oh, there it is. Well... It's better than nothing anyway. It's a little bit of yellow in there. Uh oh. Are we out of gas? There we go. Pop our bubbles. I think I might try that again with the yellow, just dropping a drop in there and dabbing it with something. Just right there. Come on. All right. I wish I had like a balloon or something. But that's. There we go. That looks quite lovely. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and stretch it out just a touch. We'll move that yellow into the middle. I'm really liking this technique. Now, the only thing I don't really like about this technique is, and, and it's not that I don't like it, right? But I'm not, I'm I'm much more a big fan of the blues and the purples and stuff too, as opposed to the pinks and the reds and the yellows and the, and the oranges. But I guess it matters what other people like, right? What I like doesn't really matter so much. <laughs> I mean, it does, because I can't, I can't create stuff that I think is ugly, right? If I think it's ugly, it's, it's toast. That's just the way it is, but <laughs> I guess I do have to think about other people's sensibilities as well, though, if I ever think I'm going to sell anything, or even giving it away, right? Like, at this point, I'm still just giving my art away. I'm not really selling it. I did, as I mentioned, sell one piece at a craft, one or two pieces at a craft fair, but uh, this is a whole new, this is a whole new craft for me, so. It sure is pretty, though. <laughs> I could see this being fun for a while. Give it another pop. Just pop the bubbles that are showing up. Getting some cells showing up. Oh, come on, you pop. And now. <laughs> Alright, and we'll come in for a close up. What do you think? Beauteous? <laughs> this is how they turned out in the end. I think they turned out pretty good. I, as I went along, I got better at it. Um, I like the ones that have the more white, you know, me in my negative space. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. 
Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye now.